The scars of Liberia's civil war are still evident in the capital. It was just last year that a project to address Monrovia's garbage problem was launched. It's already created jobs for many people. Before the ILO project, there was no dumping site. The, I mean, the, the Congotan Township was dirty, and the people were used to burying their dead or using the backyard to put dead and whatsoever it is. Every week, Michael Zoko comes to the local primary school to collect the garbage. It's a service that costs the school less than one U.S. dollar per week and provides the children with a safe environment to learn and play. So I think it's very good. I highly appreciate it and because it is reasonable for us and it keeps the place clean. Zoko's new job means he can now afford to give his children breakfast before they go to school. I pay the money and I pay rent, support my children, buy food in the house. It's so expensive, my people then. Zoko works for a small privately run company launched by startup loans with the necessary training and equipment provided by the International Labor Organization, or ILO. Zoko's boss is happy with progress so far. Mm -hmm. In one year we have seen a lot of uh, improvements such as expansion of the job, the workers uh, increasing and more community benefits. Indeed, Zoko's family has definitely seen a marked improvement in quality of life. His wife, Madeline, has since set up her own shop selling homemade cookies. There are now 10 such small garbage collection companies in the city. They work in conjunction with the Monrovia City Cooperation, which transports the yellow containers to the new rubbish dump. There are still teething problems, but the outlook is good. Five of the small businesses have even been able to start repaying their loans. Every year, the world produces around 4 billion tons of waste. That's the equivalent of 550,000 truckloads each day. Often, it's a question of changing public attitudes. At this market in Monrovia, for example, some traders still don't clean up after themselves. We are going to clear all that waste and bring in the skip buckets and put them there so that the rest of the marketers can dump their waste into that bucket for them to be free of environmental problems. Some merchants think engaging a collection service should be obligatory across the board, especially for private householders who are reluctant to pay for it. Up to now, participation in the scheme has been left to the discretion of the individual. If it's going to be fully effective, community leaders will have to convince many more people of the benefits. And ILO, giving you this information.